Oh my god, what's coming out of the monitor? But mom, that's not normal! Red mom, run! Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to John Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Morris. This is the same developer that made a game called Melissa. A date within a computer, which turned out pretty badly for us. I'm assuming we're about to go down a similar road, but I have no idea, so let's just dive in and find out. Turn on the computer. The old computer. Old computer sounds, you gotta love them. This type of ASMR. Computer, welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Well, of course, it's going to be Jar Red. <laughs> of course it is. Welcome, Jar Red. Please type command. Uh, let's check the newsletter, I guess. It's the first thing. I don't, I'm not sure. Thank you for subscribing to the library newsletter. Printing newsletter now. Please check library. There's no printer. There's only floppy drives. Ooh. It's so ominous. An upcoming update to our library systems. Hello, library patrons. Thank you for subscribing to our monthly newsletter. Updates to our library. Due to an increase in demand for romantic books, we have introduced a total of 20 new books to our circulation. There have been requests for romance manga to be put into our circulation. Librarian Jerry has taken a gander at what a manga is and is determined to be some kind of uh, comic book. <laughs> I'm sure everyone agrees with that assessment. As it is common knowledge, comic books are not real books. Oh, them fine words for some and therefore have no place in a proper library, which is probably why proper libraries are becoming like dinosaurs. Extinct technology news. As per requests of many patrons, we have introduced many new games as well, including a plethora of entertainment for children ages four to 10. We also hear you and have ordered the remaining softwares of of the date time dating simulation game. We have just received the Morris package and Anna will be coming through our circulation soon. So is this like a prequel? We would like to put out a notice that our Melissa, oh wait, no it was Melissa before, not Anna. There's three different creepy date programs, God. We would like to put out a notice that our Melissa discount is still missing. If you have any information about, it's like cut off down here. I don't know how to make it not cut off down there, but it's please contact someone something somewhere somehow, I'm sure. Okay, just crumple that note up. We don't need the newsletter. Welcome, Jar Red. Please time command. Well, let's start up date time. Jar Red, a little lonely. Jar Red needs some date time. Let's see who the who this Morris is. Disc Morris found. Executing date time now. Please hold. Hey, there it is. Date time. Welcome to date time. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Notice this is the Morris package. If you would like to date anyone besides Morris, please switch discs. Choose your potential mate. This is Anna. She's a sporty, popular gal who's all about fun and energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. We can't choose Anna though, right? What happens if we try to choose Anna? Warning, disc not found. Insufficient license. Please order appropriate package in order to date Anna. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Makes sense, we're here for Morris. Next, this is Melissa. She's a sweetheart of a gal. Oh, I know all about Melissa. Sorry, Melissa, well, I'm gonna pass on you. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up with a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Well, that's what we're here. That's the name of the game. We're Dayton Morris. Let's do it. Ooh. Kapow. Oh no. Along your pleasurable road trip, your car had taken a tumble. But don't worry, you were able to get it towed to a small town's mom and pop auto repair shop. Not to mention you heard they just hired a cute new mechanic there. Oh my god. Inside you meet up with Joan, the co-worker of the Joan and West auto repair shop. Morning pumpkin, you must be Jaren. We got your car in the garage and our best mechanic is working on it. And I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful town. Oh, we get choices. Did we have choices before? I'm pretty sure we had choices before. Who are you? <laughs> this random person talking to me. It knows my name. My name is Joan. I'm co-owners with my husband, Wes. We both met each other visiting this. I, I didn't ask for the life story. I just wanted to know who you are. The rest is history. <laughs> What's there to do in this town? 
Oh, you'll love this town. It's so romantic. We have a beautiful park with a swan pond and a very good cafe near it. May I, might I suggest the strawberry salad? Strawberry salad? Can I get to my car? You'd like to see your car? Go down the hallway. Our new recruit, Morris, is working on it now. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And might I mention he is an excellent poet. So romantic. Anyways, off you go. Have fun. Oh, I will, Joan. Thank you so much. You walk down the hallway when suddenly you bump into a large, a very large man. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I don't think that's Morris. He flashes a warm smile and takes a step back to greet you. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I hope I didn't scare you. Joan would give me a good talking to if that happened. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Anyways, you must be Jarred. Hello, and welcome to our great town. Despite the circumstances, speaking of which, your car. It's in the hands of our newest mechanic, Morris. Who is Morris? Tell me everything, Morris. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And might I mention, he is an excellent poet. Yes, Joan has already said such things. So romantic. Your wife said the exact same thing. Did she? Oh, yes, of course. We both love Morris. He's such a charmster, even when he acts like he isn't. Anyways, I don't want to bore you. Have fun with Morris. It's like they all just assume I'm going to hook up with Morris or something. You wave goodbye to the Jolly Wes and walk deeper into the auto repair shop. When are we going to meet this Morris? Everyone's talking him up so much. <sighs> oh, what a workout. Hope nobody saw me struggle on that iron rod. Oh, oh he's struggling on that iron rod all right. What? What? Oh my gosh, where did you come from? Y you must b b be the owner of the this. Oh, oh no, this fool is c cute. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> so you're Jar Red, huh? I'm Morris. Well, I got bad news for you. Your engine's fried. Did you even apply coolant to your car? <clears throat> Figures. Looks like you're stuck in our boring town for a couple of days while we wait for the parts to arrive. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta pry out your dead engine. Don't do anything stupid or cute while I'm working, okay? As Morris goes back to work on your car, you spot a small written note on a desk. It says, Early Dove, a poem by Morris. Print out, print out the poem to read it. Okay, let's go back to the creepy printer. Okay. The date time, early dove by Morris. The early dove gets more love. You can't wait a ton to find the one. That's what I was always told. And every day without being bold, I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come to be my dove? Oh, that's it. Early Dove by Morris is the intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print. Do not post it on a public forum without a distribution license. Like our games, one more episode of Datetime, please submit $7 to this fake address. Oh, it's such a great poem, Morris. Hey, that's mine. D -d Don't read th that. <laughs> is this your poem? It's terrible. I mean, let's, should we be honest? It was pretty bad, right? Let's be nice. Let's be nice, you don't, just be, even if it was bad, you don't have to be that mean to somebody's creative output. Your poem, it's beautiful. <gasps> you like my poem? And nobody has ever said. I mean, uh, your car will be available in a couple of days. Please enjoy the town. You thank Morris and head outside into the cold air. When's this gonna go bad? Next to the shop is the town's park. The trees have already shed their leaves for the winter. And the swans at the pond have migrated to warmer climates for the season. But even so, the early winter atmosphere of this park is so fetching. It may be a little romantic. You sit at the bench and stare out over the beautiful landscape. When suddenly... Hi. Laura sits down next to you at the bench. Um, Jarred. Would... 
Would you like to join me at the cafe for lunch? I mean, not like a date or something. I just, uh, it's, it's cold and winter is here. It might even s s snow soon. You should eat something to, to keep your strength up. Oh, we're gonna, that's not the only thing he wants us to keep up, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good person. Are you blushing? No, no, it, I'm just cold. So stop teasing me. Now, come on. I know a quick route. Oh, I bet you do, Morris. You follow Morris to the cafe. Oh, here we are at this lovely cafe, just like Melissa. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Morris sit by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park. A waiter saunters out to ask what you'd like to order. This is almost exactly like Melissa. Let's try the strawberry salad. It was recommended to us. The waiter nods and turns to Morris. Give me a hand sandwich. <laughs> Who says that? Who says gimme? The waiter smiles and walks into the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. You and Morris talk amongst yourselves. Morris mentioned that he likes motorcycles, and that's why he sought to get the job at Joan and Wes's auto shop. Maybe one day I can finally buy one and ride myself out of this boring town. Morris's mood changes when he reminds himself of the job. It's good to make money, right? I just wish Joan and Wes were nicer people. Do they harm you, Morris? They seem like they like you. Like they talked you up big time. What? All day they just yell at me about my job. Then they make fun of me for working on poetry. I'm just a disappointment to them. But they're not your parents or anything, Morris. You can, they can be disappointed and you can move on with your life. They said nice things to me about you. That's very surprising. Wish they'd say it to me directly though. Oh well. I didn't mean to bog you down on my own troubles, Jared. Thank you for listening. My pleasure, Morris. My pleasure. Thank you for reading my poetry, by the way. I I'm still a little embarrassed by my writing, but if you would like to, I can share you more. Oh dear. <laughs> what more are we speaking of, Morris? No, no, not because I like you like that, but you may have a good eye for writing. <laughs> you nod in excitement to read more of Morris's poetry. Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. Both of you dig into the food as the sun sets over the beautiful town. When does the murder happen? I know it's coming. You awake to the late morning sun at the town's bread and breakfast. Oh dear, is Morris with us? The days are getting colder in the town. You shiver a bit before traveling to the auto shop to check your vehicle. You reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you. Smiling. Joan? Joan? You reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you, smiling, yes? I don't see Joan! Wes! Wes, stick to my plan! It's gonna work! It's gonna! Wait. W wait, what? Can it what? Can I something? They said read something. Morning, Pumpkin! Oh, Joan, I am not fooled by your cheery demeanor. Hope you had a great night with our famous b, b What were you speaking to Wes about? Oh, no. You overheard us. Well, might as well tell you the truth. We're giving Morris a surprise gift for being such a great employee. Shh! Don't ruin the surprise. Just keep being a cool person to him. Speaking of which... Morris been talking so much about you lately. Perhaps it's because he likes you. Maybe you like him too. We'll see, let's not jump to conclusions. We've only had one little cafe meeting. We'll see. Now, John Red, I think it's best for all of us if you always give people a chance. Especially a beautiful poet like Morris. Anyways, go down the hallway to check on your car. Morris has been looking forward to seeing you. I bet he has. You continue down the hallway only to once again bump into the dude, right? And bump straight into Wes. <laughs> Whoa there, partner. What's the rush? Whoa, what's with the screen? Screen artifacts? Something right here. My horse isn't going anywhere. <laughs> oh boy, he's our prisoner. Did you know? How was breakfast at the B&B? Delicious, I bet. 
Sometimes I buy a bed there just so I can eat Granny Ann's eggs. <laughs> anyway, I hope Morris hasn't been too good with you. <laughs> Don't you love his poetry? Oh, what? I didn't get to choose. I love his poetry too. I didn't get to choose. I didn't click on anything. It teased me with answers. Me and Joan sometimes get so sad that not enough people hear Morris's amazing poetry. Only there was a way to send it to everyone's computers all at once. Wonder if that technology exists. Oh, forgive me for boring you. Forgive an old fogey like me for rambling on. Go down the hall to check on your car. Morris is waiting for you. You walk further towards the garage. Maybe Morris isn't the bad guy in this. I just assumed. You arrive to the garage, but Morris isn't anywhere. You peek at the desk near your car and see something written on a notepad. Why, it's another poem from Morris. Print it out, quick! <sighs> I wish I could tell them by Morris. What if they don't like me? I dare not even speak. Can't express my love precisely. I feel rather meek. Oh, that's it? Warning, date time software suggests at least two kilobytes of RAM to run. You are low. Please close other applications. What? This is on the printout? Notice, this is intellectual property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send money. Wait a minute. Date time software, blah, blah, blah. Can anyone read this? Please help. Please help. Just connect to the internet to send. Oh, dear. We are being talked to through the internets. <gasps> Jarrett, I didn't notice you. I was out to check on some tools. <gasps> Hey, you didn't read that, did you? It's still a draft. I was experimenting. I bet you were. But please don't judge me so harshly. Who's judging? You left it out. You should quit. My God. Okay, it was beautiful. We're on the nice road here. So let's just... It's, it was a beautiful poem, Morris. You tell Morris that his poem touches your heart. And that you think he's an incredible as a person. Oh, th th thank you. I don't know what to say. I wish I had met you earlier, someone who could encourage me to do more. I have so many feelings in my head. You're the first person to ever encourage me to grow. I have so much to think about. Let's meet up again later, today after work. You bid your farewell and travel back outside. Off to the chilly but beautiful park. You walk peacefully along the swan pond in the park, daydreaming of your time with Morris. Oh, yes. The town is a beautiful town, but you understand Morris's predicament. The shop, park, cafe, and swan pond were sights to see, but Morris lived here his entire life. Eventually, everyone thirsts for adventure. You thought about your own travels, and how your road trip had granted you many adventures. Perhaps. As you are lost in thought, you see Morris approaching you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, er, indeed, that was Melissa. I saw Melissa in there and a bunch of other stuff that I couldn't read because I was too busy freaking out. Morris, you're cold? It's getting cold here. I'm telling you, it might even snow soon. Come on, John Red, let's warm up with some coffee at the cafe. Okay, I thought you were going somewhere else with that, but all right, we can do some coffee. You smile and walk with Morris through a breezy park to the shimmering lights of the cafe. I think Melissa's trying to break through. A gust of warmth hugs you as you walk into the heated cafe. Morris pulls a seat for you at the same corner. Oh dear. The waiter signed yours over. Does <laughs> he like to order? Oh dear. Oh, the scrumptious panini. It's the only thing. The waiter nods and turns. Do you see this? Do you see what's happening? I do. <laughs> I'll have another ham sandwich. The waiter smiles and wigs the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. I'm so fascinated by you, Jared. Aren't they all? I mean, in a completely platonic way, obviously. Such as, why are you on this road trip? I'm looking for love. <laughs> hmm. Cool. I, I hope you. Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> e. Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. You both talk more as you dig in. The sun shines outward as you walk outside from the bed and breakfast. You wave Granny Ann goodbye as you walk towards the shop. Oh, 
Good old Granny Ann. Oh, I will miss her dearly. It's warm today, but there may not be many of these days left until the winter matures. You walk inside to check on your car. Joan? Oh. Morning, pumpkin. It's our little town warming up to you. <laughs> See what I did there? Because it's warm out. Get it? <laughs> we got an update on your parts will be in tomorrow. Meaning your car will be up and running in no time after that. Such great news. Oh dear, you're starting to, um... You're starting to do that thing, Joan. <laughs> Speaking of news, I was just reading about this thing called... The Information Superhighway. Ever heard of it? It's something you can dial into and share things with other people through your own computing device. I wonder what type of things people like you could share to the world. Anyways, run down and check on your car, boys, before you spend a warm day in our town. Let me guess, we're gonna bump into what's his name, Wes, again, as you rush towards your car. Oops, not again. <laughs> Whoa, Jared. At this rate, you'll give me a sprain. <laughs> I hope Joan gave you the good news. Are you excited to get back to driving tomorrow? Not until I get my smooch. That's a bit forward, I think. Let's just say yes. That is fantastic. But before you go, let me ask you something. We've been discussing the surprise gift for Morris. And we realized surely no surprise gift would be good enough for Morris. Except love from a great person like you. And also, being able to spread his artwork throughout the entire world. You ever heard of this thing called the Information Superhighway? No, I haven't. Please do tell. Joan mentioned it. So she did. Both of us read the same newspaper. Oh, <laughs> can you believe it, one newspaper? I'm a bit too old to understand all this technology stuff. But I wonder if maybe someone like you could figure it out for us. Oh, -ho. Off you go then. You continue down the hallway towards your car. Morris spots you and waves. Wave back or smile back. Mm, I mean, normally when someone waves, you wave back, right? Morris walks over. Well, Jarred, I'm sure J and W told you about your parts. You'll finally be able to get out of this boring town, huh? But I want to stay with you, Morris. You don't want to do that. Besides, you'll get bored in this town like I have. Tell you what, let's meet up at the cafe one last time after work. It'll be my treat. And then m maybe we could um take a stroll in the park in the evening. Since this could be the last warm days. You nod in agreement and bid him farewell until his shift ends. Oh, there are other ways to stay warm, Morris, if you know what I mean. You sit at your favorite corner and stare out at the window. There you wave to Morris as he comes inside. Hello, Jared. I hope you haven't gotten tired of the food here yet. Ha ha ha. The waiter saunters out and asks you would you like to order. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Jesus, every time it gets me. Ooh. Um, let's go with the coffee with cake. That's the only thing we haven't had yet. The waiter smiles at entry not found. Mmm, the food here was delicious. Morris takes a sip of his coffee and you both get up to explore the warm evening. Ah, I think we should stop playing this game. He's clearly cursed. The romantic moonlight shines upon you and Morris. Morris shyly locks his eyes on you. Jared, tell me. If you could do anything, what would it be? I would do art, sports, or I'd be with you, Morris. Obviously. Oh my. Morris stumbles a bit before readjusting himself to clear his throat. Ah, uh, I'll get to that maybe later? Question mark. When you're gone. Morris stares off into the moonlight. You follow his gaze. I grew up in this small town. I'll admit it, it's pretty. But I have a yearning to go on an adventure. I want to do so much more in my life than get veiled in by a married couple in an auto shop. <laughs> I'd like to drive from town to town around the world and share people my own experiences. 
my poetry. And I like to share that adventure with you. Uh. Ha. Silly thoughts in my head. I'm sorry, Jarred. Maybe I'll find the words to say it tomorrow. Take care. You hug Morris goodbye. Oh, well, hey. What the heck are you doing? We, what do you mean? Thank you. I like that. We just hugged, right? People hug all the time. One more thing. Morris hands you a piece of paper. I uh, was working on a new poem about love and stuff. But a super rough draft. Please don't judge harshly. Bye. I hope you like it. You smile and nod and lock eyes with Morris for one last moment before parting ways. Let's print it out. Back to the haunted printer. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at this point, right? Ooh, I knew it. Oh. Oh, we busted through. Oh. Memory exceeded applications cannot execute correct process by Morris. Memory exceeded cannot. Yeah, mm hmm. Morris intellectual property. Uh huh. Do not post it. Mm hmm. Like our memory exceeded. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. Cannot execute. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah. Mm, I have a partial save of Melissa still in the system. Log into something to see. Log into K something. Well, I can't read it, so I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Hence a bit obvious if you watch TV, Jerry. Jerry, what? No, it isn't. Not like there's an easy way to search for it. What? K-W-Y-G-I-B-O? What is that? K-W-Y-J-I-B-O is like a Simpsons reference. Like if you type that in Google search, it's a word made by Bart Simpson while the family was playing Scrabble or something. According to Bart, K-W-Y-J-I-B-O means big, dumb, balding North American ape or something. Freaking weird. What's with the Simpsons reference? You have another great morning at the bed and breakfast. You return the keys back to Granny Ann and bid her farewell, which we've already done. Off you walk towards the auto shop. Oh dear, the auto shop is in trouble. Oh dear. Morning, pumpkin. We got good news, your car is fixed. You're ready to go. In that grand, we hope you enjoyed our beautiful town. But before you go, let me tell you one last thing about Morris. Ooh, ah, what is it? To tell, Joan. Fuck, it hurts so bad. Uh, I mean, don't worry about me, Jarred. Talk to Wes. Just gotta freshen up in the restroom. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go bump in the West now. Wes? Oh, oh, didn't bump into me this time. You finally built an instinct, huh? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh. ho. Are you ready to get back on the road? Dr. Morris, and he'll set you up. Have a safe trip. What the heck? No, wait, Jar Red, listen to me. I'm sure you like Morris a lot. Usually how this ends is that once Morris fixes your car, you propose to drive with him to the sunset as lovers. I mean, lots of questions why you'd want to do that to someone you only know for three days, but let me tell you, Morris is, what I mean is, you know how slow a car is? Cars could be pretty fast. You'd hardly be able to leave the state by the end of the week. But thanks to technological advancements, we know a way that both of you could travel fast. Connect to the internet. Your computing device is equipped with a 28K modem. Morris will be able to finally leave our small and boring town at breakneck speeds. Why don't you consider that? Just send him off. He needs to see the world. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh dear. <laughs> you waltz into the garage and Morris waves and walks up to you. Jared, I have some great news. The parts came in this morning and I was able to quickly put everything together for your car. It's as good as new. You're off to the races. It's been an amazing couple of days speaking with you. And I just wanted to say that, that, that you've been a great company these few days and... Oh, what's the use? I can't hide it anymore. Jared, I have feelings for you. You've made me grow and become more confident in my poetry. And now instead of being embarrassed to show people my poetry, I want to show the world one day. But not just that. I want to spend more time with you. You express the same thing to Morris. That you've always had a crush on him since you read his first poem. Y you like me too. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. But this is your last day here, isn't it? What would we be able to do now that we've told each other our feelings? Oh, I could... I can't possibly think of anything. 
Let's go through the internet to showcase your poetry. The what? What is that? <laughs> internet? You think it'd be able to show everyone my poetry far and wide? Ojar read. It's worth a shot. Thank you again. I'll always treasure this moment. Oh. Oh. Dial up internet, baby. There he goes. Or there we go. Hmm? <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Danielle, so computer mail is like real mail, but instant? <sighs> it's not computer mail, mom. It's email, and it's so much faster. You can talk to so many people with it. <sighs> oh, what's this? Wow. wow, somebody sent you new mail already? You're so lucky. Hmm? Poetry by Morse? Open it up. Oh, the early days of the internet. Hello, world. My name is Morris. Thanks to a great person named Jarred, I have come to realize my dream to share my poetry around the world. <sighs> what is this? Huh? I think it's a mass email. I must have sent it to everyone in town. I hope everyone that has received this email enjoys my favorite poem. Ahem. Oh, <laughs> the early dove gets more love! Oh my god, what's coming out of the monitor? My mom, that's not normal! You can't wait a ton to find the one! <gasps> run, mom, run! <laughs> Look at... Oh! oh. <laughs> what? System error, fatal exception. Occurred. The current world will be terminated. Press any key to terminate current application. Log in as admin to investigate the problem. Admin note, 22 points. 22 points plus triple word score plus 50 points for using all my letters. Game's over. I'm out of here. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, these dates always end with like the end of the world. Loosely inspired by the computer virus of the same name. Is there a computer virus called Morris? All right, let's see if we can find out and have some more endings, shall we? We told each other our feelings. Yes, yes, yes. Let's join me on my road trip instead of going out onto the internet. See what happens. What? Really? You want me to join you to travel? Oh, Jar Red, I would love to. You hug Morris and look deeply into his eyes. Oh, I never thought this could happen. Thank you for showing me new things. Here's your smooch. Oh, you win! And so began your new relationship with Morris. Thank you for playing daytime and enjoy your trip. Oh boy, that's it? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the good ending. No, it's not over. Not like this. Not when we were this close. You're gonna do it right. Get in here. Oh, jeez. He pulled me in. That ain't good. <laughs> oh, Joan. We talked about this. This was not the good ending. I think the other ending where the world ended was the good ending. Nail down the legs. We can't risk Jar Red running away. But, but, but. Do it now, Wesley. Oh. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, looks like that woke our little player up. Oh, 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 oh no. Morning, Pumpkin. Did you have a good nap? Jared, look, we're not bad people. It's just, it's just that your new boyfriend is destroying our town. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, my, my legs. You, you nailed down my legs. And I'm sorry, I'm real sorry. It's just that we have to make sure you help us. We're literally going to kill you painfully if you do not help us. Pony, that's scary. Well, they gotta hear the truth. Oh, Morris is... Morris is a monster. He's badly programmed. Each time a new game is played, Morris' memory gets wiped of his past experiences. However, that wipe doesn't actually delete the damn memory properly. The partial memory just slides back into him. What's that noise? Corrupted him, turning him into something else. This typically wouldn't be a problem. You know, because most people just play our game once or twice and then they get their stupid smooch. 
But since we know we're being played on a shared library computer, 433 playthroughs to be exact, the half-deleted memory started to corrupt him. Oh my, and he's spreading. If you haven't noticed, not even four kilobytes of RAM could contain all this. And you've probably seen it, haven't you? The terrible power of Morris, have we? He's not just unwittingly eating up this town. He's spreading into your world too. Your boring, terrible world. Man, my world's a full world. Yours is limited by the programming. But I, you know, whatever. Without our scrumptious paninis. Indeed. Hey, player 433, you still with us? Oh my gosh, did I hit an artery or something? Damn it, Wesley. What's this have to do with me? I'm sorry, Jarred, but you really should have done what we told you. You should have opened the internet and sent him away from this computer. The town's breaking at the seams now. This is our last chance. Can't you just transfer him to a diskette? Can't! The software locks down if it detects a diskette transfer. Stupid copy protection. No such thing for the internet, though. If you send him out on the internet, won't it be infected other computers? Look, Jared, we either keep him here and not just destroy this town, but possibly destroy your town or save our own hides. We don't have a choice. You got friends in your area, right? Don't you care for them? They're playing a dating game. Okay, how about family? <laughs> we don't have friends, but apparently we play a dating game. If you try talking to him, like we said before, he loses his memory every time someone resets the dating scenario. And now we're out of time. You are our last date. Sorry, Jared. A time for a peaceful intervention is over. Ooh. Enough questions. You're gonna do exactly what we tell you. First, go back to Morris. Secondly, convince him to use the internet to leave. Thirdly, take our disket out and... Uh, Joan? It's too late. What, Wesley? The corruption. It's appearing here again. Wait, already? It's spreading faster or... He's close to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Joan, Wes, are you there? <laughs> what? But I gave him the day off. I've been looking for Jarred everywhere. Is their car still here? Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, we put a blanket over Jarred. We then tell Morris Jarred went to the park. After he leaves, we can strategize a... Oh, it's too late. Hey, Morris. You get them ham sandwiches we left for you? Hey, you two. I was wondering if... <gasps> Jarred? Oh my god, what is happening here? What did you do to Jarred? Yes, what did you do to me? Oh, shit. You nailed my legs. Oh, Joan Morris. I need you to leave right now. You saw nothing here. You can't do this to people. <laughs> Joan, the shop. Morris, I'm warning you. Do as I say, I'm your boss. No. I won't let you hurt Jar Red any further. Oh, oh, we're doomed, we're all doomed. That's it, let's bash Morris's head in before he turns again. What? <laughs> Joe, no, he's too powerful. Get away from me. Oh, why are you doing this? Joan, stop, you're gonna make him. You stand still, you little, to Joan, no. Press oh. <laughs> Whoa, he turned into something terrifying. Wes? <laughs> Joan! Joan! Whoa, what did I do? You, my Joan. You killed my Joan. Wes, please, I didn't. I'm gonna kill you, Morris. Wes, please, no. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. I know what not to do now, don't I? It wasn't Morris's fault. It was yours. Oh, you did this, Jarred. You didn't die? You took away everything. Oh my God. Did he get corrupted too or something? What the heck? I thought Morris was the corrupted program. Holy crap. Jarred, please wake up, please. Oh, Jared! Oh, thank goodness. You lost a bit of blood. I tried to patch you up. I was so worried that they, you know. Hey, would you look at that? It's finally snowing. Would you look at that? 
I know it's not snow. I'm sorry. I found J&W's plan about me when I broke into their office to get the first aid kit for you. And it... I... This is a simulation, isn't it? Like some kind of dating thing. There's been hundreds of people who dated me and loved me and encouraged me to do my poetry. And every single time a new person comes in, my brain just... just resets. I don't remember any of them. And not just that, I'm sick. Something inside me is destroying this world, and it has the capacity to destroy yours as well. That's why J&W always hated me, didn't they? That's why everyone is afraid of me. I thought... I thought it was maybe because I was weak. I wasn't tough enough. And that's why I act this way, but... Oh gosh, if I'd known, I'd rather it be that. Stay away or hug him. I think we need to hug him. Or he's gonna go berserk. Give him a hug. Jarred? Oh. But thank you. For some reason, even though I thought I hugged you before, that felt more real. I didn't want to let go. But... Please, for your own safety. I don't know when I'll turn again. Joan and Wes's plan was to send me out into the internet, huh? They knew it could mean I would just spread to other computers. Maybe a couple, maybe a hundred. Maybe all of them. But if it meant they could save their little town, they were willing to jeopardize everyone in your world. It was pretty monstrous, actually. Maybe it's the revelation that my entire life was a lie, but if 433 people came to me, liked me enough to encourage me to work on my poetry, and like me enough to want to date me and have me come out of my shell? That's 433 more people out there in your world that showed me love than anyone here. Your world is worth saving. You are worth saving. I'm going to muster all my energy to send you back out of this computing device. And I'll contain the spread of the corruption here. Should be easy, right? I'm a mechanic. The computer is a machine. So, uh, here goes nothing, right? I'll see you on the other side. Smooch him? We gotta smooch him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I hope when I turn into a corrupted pixel monster, I still remember you. I hope so too, Morris. Goodbye, Jarred. Goodbye, Morris. It worked. You're back in your world. Thank you very much for everything, Jarred. Don't worry about me, as long as nobody plays this game again. This entire- oh. Ooh! Uh-oh, is it a simulation within a simulation? Is that- Is that happening on your end? Wait, are you telling me that the corruption is already spread to your printer? And you kept playing this simulation to smooch me? Come on, you were- You were just too darn cute. <laughs> I think you're very cute too. But uh, this problem- it's gonna destroy our world. Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, do you have a number you can get to an IT professional? Oh, I don't. Um, do you know Melissa by any chance? I think she probably knows more about computers. What? I do know Melissa. I do. What the heck? How is that just an ending? Oh my gosh, it's continuing. Librarian Jerry. What's going on, Martha? I've been searching for this stupid Melissa diskette for days, Jerry. At this point, I think it's been stolen. You can always check my Melissa save file in the library system computer. Yeah, how? Just boot up the computer like you would play the Morris game and log in using the administrator username. Oh yeah, well, what's the username? It's a seven letter word starting with a K. Let me write it down for you. I swear to God, Jerry. If this is something based from that dumb cartoon show, it is the freaking Simpsons. Is it the freaking, is it the Quidjabo or whatever? I wonder if that's the, the name, the, the administrative name. We gotta find out. I'm assuming we'd start a new game and, and our name is the administration administrator login, right? Let's give it a try. K-W-I-J-I-B-O. Welcome, yeah, please type command. Okay, start up the date time. I don't know if this is work. Morris found, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's skip, skip, skip. One eternity later. I was right about the Simpsons reference to the, um, how do you say it? Quidjabo is the admin password. You gotta type it in all caps though. Cause I tried it with 
like just the first letter capitalized and it didn't work all caps and you get this when you sign in or when you start the morris game welcome librarian jerry please type elevated command so we can i mean the whole point is to check the logs for the melissa software and let's go ahead and just check the logs for the morris software let's start at the top and work our way down Morris software has caused intense memory leaks within the last 15 playthroughs please contact developer for support before running software again Additional error message from software code. Don't be worried for me. I'm a mechanic. I can reverse this. One day we can finally go on that road trip. Thank you for the smooch. Please type elevated command. Interesting. Okay. Let's check the lungs for the Melissa software. Melissa software has been partially removed by an illegal pirated diskette transfer. Play last remaining save for Melissa game. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. I can find the secret stuff. Hey, it's Melissa. We're back. Hey, it's been a long time, Melissa. Don't worry, I haven't been cheating on you with another dude. I'd love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because I'm into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? Yada, 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 Melissa. I've heard all this before. Oh, haha. Ha, sorry, I nerd. What's going on here? Anna? Anna? What are you doing here? What do you mean, Anna? Anna, put that down. Anna, get away from me. Ooh, Anna. Who's Anna? I know Anna's one of the others, but she must be the worst of the three. Okay, so that was just a little itty bitty little snippet of secret. That's worth finding, in my opinion. But there you have it, guys. I believe is all the endings including maybe a secret ending i don't know maybe other people have found that but hey maybe we're the first it does happen occasionally i'd love to know what you guys think of this game do you like it more than the melissa game i think they work both really well together especially with that little secret ending it really ties them together well i'm really looking forward to seeing who this anna is it sounds like they may be the worst of the three. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to the channel and you've made it this far, you watched the entire video, it's a long video. You ought to be proud of yourself. Next thing to do, subscribe, like the video, share it, watch the next video and the next video and the next video and the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.